yeah, I definitely got to do something about this. So one of the things that have been pretty irritating for me daily driving a 2002 Nissan Pathfinder with over 200,000 miles is my window. It typically gets stuck if I roll it down more than halfway. Then I have to pull it up with my hand just to guide it up. It's been this way for almost two years now. And it just gets stuck there. And it rolls down even more. I've even had this rolled all the way down when somebody borrowed my car and I had to take the door apart in order to pull it back up. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to replace the window lift motor and window regulator assembly on your R50 style Pathfinder. The same process is gonna to apply to all 1996 to 2004 Nissan Pathfinders. Here's the part number for the window regulator that I'm using. I just got this one off Amazon for like 40 bucks. This is by Cardone. And then this is just a window motor that I got from my local CarQuest since I didn't realize this one didn't come with a motor and I wanna get this done today. I think this was around 70 bucks. Now you can get the motor a little bit cheaper online, like on Amazon, even Rock Auto. I'll have cheaper alternatives linked in the description if you're interested. And as far as tools that we're using, this is just a trim tool, flathead screwdriver, Phillips, really small flathead, a plastic pry tool, and then I'm just using an impact with a 10 millimeter socket. So it appears that we lost a little bit of footage since my phone overheated while it was sitting in my car when I was taking the door apart. Since it is 96 degrees out here in Virginia, it's very hot inside the car. So sorry if I lost a couple minutes of footage, but I'm just gonna explain to you what I did to take this window regulator and motor out. It's very straightforward. I reconnected the window opener switch and I keyed the ignition on and I rolled down the window about two thirds down just so I can get to the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the window glass to this bracket. And then I manually slid the window up and I held the glass in place with some masking tape. You'll see it in a little bit. You just take out the three 10 millimeter bolts that hold the window motor to the door shell and then the four 10 millimeter bolts that hold the regulator in place. You disconnect the wire connector Disconnecting the plug is very simple. You just press the one tab on the connector that's on the door shell. You can pull it out, undo this one clip, and then you can snake out the whole motor and regulator assembly from the door shell opening. It's gonna be very self-explanatory, especially since you're about to see it anyway when we put the new regulator and motor on the car. It's just gonna be in reverse. 
We're just gonna copy the old assembly that we just pulled out. It didn't come with any hardware, so we're just gonna reuse the three Phillips screws from the old motor. Just like that, it's ready to install. Of course the damn phone overheats again during the last minute of the door reassembly, but pretty simple. We just put the two Phillips screws back in, pop the cap in, pop the switch in, and as you see, it is functioning as it should. 
no longer have to assist it. All right, guys, I hope that you found this video to be helpful. If you did, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you like this kind of content, want to keep up with some of my projects, such as this Nissan Pathfinder or Subaru Crosstrek or my new Lexus GX460, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.